she is. Katie's, Katie's I, gone. Eddie's I gone. really need to speak to her. Do you know when she's going to be back? I have no idea. She didn't say. Damn it. What? Could, can I talk to me? Well, you might as well hear it from me. I did something really stupid, Margot. You did not. I wouldn't know of such a thing. What'd you do? Uh, it all started a couple weeks ago. I was talking to Katie, and I had these books. They were college books. They weren't mine. They were George's. I guess Katie was under the impression that they were my books, and I didn't do or say anything to make her think differently. Basically, I lied. And then I had to tell another lie to cover that lie up, and I lied again and again until it just got out of control, Margot. I tried to tell her, you know? I, re I really did, but every time I tried, I just... I couldn't. The point is, she found out anyway, and now she thinks I'm a total lying jerk, which I am, basically. Oh, Eddie, I'm sorry. Ah, what? It's not your fault. Well, yeah, it is. I'm the one who told Katie the truth. And she, Katie and I were talking about you and college, and she was saying, you know, that you're in college. And I said, no, no, he's not. He's not even registering oh, until next great. semester. And then she looked kind of surprised. I bet. So I just, oh, I'm sorry. Man. I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm... you know what, Margo? This isn't about you. It's about me. I don't know what's wrong with me. You know, I just, I just screamed at Georgia because I thought she told Katie. And she told me she didn't, but I didn't want to listen, you know? Total jerk. Eddie, you're not a total jerk. I keep telling you there's room for improvement. <laughs> Look, you just got in over your head, that's all. Yeah, well, you know what? Try telling that to Georgia, or Katie for that matter. I don't think either of them's ever going to talk to me again. Well, I can't speak for Georgia because I don't know her, but I'm sure that Katie will understand. Oh, great. Just what I need for Katie to understand. Oh, uh, that's understanding is bad. It's one step away from, oh, poor Eddie. Not what a guy wants to Definitely hear, huh? Definitely No. All right. Listen, I don't mean to pry, but I know that you're interested in Katie, and I think that's great. But you live with Georgia. Yeah, but listen, Georgia and I were just friends. That's it. <laughs> Truth is, that's all me and Katie are, too. And that's not the way you want it, huh? Well, if you give her some more time. No, I don't think so. Your sister made it really clear that she wasn't in the market for a boyfriend. I mean, she goes nuts when guys hit on her. Uh, I think she's basically about school, you know, which I think is a good thing for her. I should probably just leave her alone, you know? It's weird, you know? Talking to you about stuff like this. I mean, after we... <sighs> Eddie. I want to be your friend. And I just wish I could help you with Katie. Oh, I wish you could, too. Well, you know what? I should probably be going. Okay. I want to beat Georgia home. I got some major apologizing to do. Thanks. Sure.